Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. This is the Baseball Mogul Guy, and we are here to simulate the 1913 Major League season in Baseball Mogul 2022. As we get things underway, simulating to the amateur draft in 1912, if you go back and watch that one, the Boston Red Sox won the World Series in 1912. The New York Yankees, this is their first season playing under the name of the New York Yankees. They've been the New York Highlanders, but now they are the Yankees. Let's see how they do playing under a different name. And there is a name that you might recognize in the amateur draft. Babe Ruth. He's going to be a right fielder, by the way. So he will be in the major leagues before too much longer. He's with the New York Giants, though, not the New York Yankees. This is, we are simulating, by the way, so far in the American League, almost everyone is still in contention. In the National League, very similar thing. We are simulating all the way from 1901 to, I guess, 2022, and just, it's not a replay year by year. It's, we simulate one season, and then we just roll into the next with the computer making free agent decisions and trades, and all. it's handling all of that. Injuries happen, you know, as they happen. So, it's just, you know, what would happen if you simulated 120 years of Major League Baseball? That's basically what we're going for here. July 31st, the Washington Senators are in first place in the American League with a record of 62-43. and 43. In the National League, the Pittsburgh Pirates have a narrow lead over St. Louis, a two-game lead, Pittsburgh Pirates. St. Louis has won seven in a row. They are coming on strong here towards the end of the year. As we head towards the playoffs, Pittsburgh remains in first, but St. Louis passes them. And holds on to first place all the way until the World Series. Washington, the Washington Senators, end up stretching their lead out. A seven-game lead over Boston. They go 94-60. and 60, End on a three-game winning streak. St. Louis Cardinals go 88-66 and 66 to win the National League. Before we get to the playoffs, we'll go look at the league leaders. We go to... Oh, this is 1912. We want 1913. Well, we can do this season. There we go. 1913, Bubbles Hargrave. And what a name. Bubbles Hargrave led all of baseball as a rookie, 21-year-old rookie, with a batting average of 348. Down here in the pitchers, Buster Brown led all of baseball with an earned run average of 217. He also had the most wins with 21, with 21 and 5 with a 217 ERA, 265 innings pitched. Bobby Veach hit 20 home runs, 35 doubles, 13 triples, 20 home runs for the Detroit Tigers, batting average of 323. John Mercer, very interesting. After two seasons of 30-plus home runs, his power sort of drops off a little bit, and he only hits nine home runs in 1913. So, as we move on to the playoffs, we have the Washington Senators and the St. Louis Cardinals. Game one of the World Series. The Senators win game one by a score of 8-3. to three. Game two... The Senators win in 10 innings, 4-2. to two. We have a day off, and then we move to Game 3. Can the Cardinals take Game 3? No. The Senators win 12-3. to three. Senators win 12-3. to three. Game 4. The Senators win 12-11 to 11 in 14 innings. A 14-inning victory to clinch the World Series, and the Washington Senators sweep the St. Louis Cardinals four games to none in the 1913 World Series. Congratulations to the Washington Senators for winning it all. As we move forward, 
we have different free agents and players that can be signed. We move forward to spring training to see if any team names change this year. Brooklyn is changing their name to the Brooklyn Robins, and that's the only team name to change. We move forward to the awards for the 1913 season. Fred Beebe pitched 250 innings with a 291 ERA for the Boston Red Sox. He wins the American League Cy Young Award. The American League MVP, I think for the second year in a row, yes, is going to go to Tris Speaker, who hit 38 doubles, 12 triples, 8 home runs, stole 43 bases, an excellent defensive outfielder, hit 321. American League best rookie is Bill Otis. Bill Otis hit 273, 16 doubles, 9 triples, 5 home runs. Center fielder for the Chicago White Sox. A few of the gold gloves, and we move forward. No surprise, Buster Brown for St. Louis. He was on the Cardinals, but now has signed with Chicago Cubs. Buster Brown went 21-5 and five with a 217 ERA. Won the Cy Young Award, but he has moved on to the Cubs now. He also wins the MVP award. And Henny Stafford wins National League Rookie of the Year award. 17 doubles, 1 triple, 11 home runs, 94 RBIs. First baseman for the New York Giants. 273 batting average. And so there you go. The 1913 World Series winner, the Washington Senators, sweep the St. Louis Cardinals. If you like this video... Be sure to give it a thumbs up. I'm going to keep simulating, keep going through. Eventually, at some point, I want to get all the way to this is Baseball Mogul 2022, so I guess that would be the last season we simulate. Uh, but we're going to keep going. Uh, if you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. And until next time, hope you have a good day.